Claws and Doritos. This is how Pratt do the meal prep on Chester back day. Hey y'all, welcome to the channel, Kid Showtime here, and this is another uh, episode of Drinks by Showtime, and as you can see right here, this is another uh, Showtime creation, the White Claw and Doritos, the frat boy uh, meal prep, y'all, you know, this, you know, I, Kid Showtime never went to college, but I spent more time at frat parties and at frat houses, and, uh, <laughs> you know, never took one college class in my life, but, you know, I partied with a lot of college people, so I've always been an honored, uh, frat boy so you know this is this you know i know what's up right here <laughs> you know these white claws i mean if i was in college right now i'd probably be drinking these all the time you know but as you can see that this is how i make my uh, micheladas where i'll um or my hot cheetos michelada where i'll i'll crunch it up and put it around the rim with that chamoy so you know check it out so uh watch this episode i'm about to hit you with that intro i'm showing you the ingredients and show you how to make this y'all all right the most you got the hairy fries <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right y'all so let's get into this ingredients the first thing you need of course a white claw and we're going with mango and then uh some doritos i mean you only need like uh like five chips like five full size chips you don't need you don't need a bag like this but i have one so we're gonna go roll with this and then you're gonna need your sauce i have my uh chamoy mix right here my paste or if you don't if you don't have it you could just you could always use chamoy and uh some tahini it'll, it, it'll still stick all right y'all let's make this all right y'all now that we got the ingredients out the way let's make this so you're gonna take your can your uh, white claw i should say right uh your mix you can have that just you can put it to the side or if you're using the chamoy and the tahini you can use that um you can do that later but first part we do is gonna crunch up our chips so I already opened this up. I mean, I mean, come on, y'all. I mean, you can't, you know, you can't have a bag of Doritos in my face and I'm not gonna take some away, you know? So, all right, so we got that. Then get your plate or whatever flat service you have. So put this to the side. And you're probably only gonna need like, probably three chips, three like uh, full-size chips. You know what I mean? I mean, this is not even a full-size. <laughs> Where you at? All right, it's, it's rope, but you know what I'm saying. Three full of triangles or whatever. So we're just gonna take some out. So you can smash it in the bag. I like to do it that way. Or if you have like um, saran wrap or whatever, you can uh, wrap it in there or those little Ziploc bags, put it in there and smash it that way. But we're just gonna do it just, just right here. So I'm just gonna use this corner part right here, as y'all can see. And then uh, if you have a muddler, uh, perfect. If not, you can just use the bottom of the can, y'all. Bam, just like that. And just crunch that bad boy up. Don't do the whole bag because you really don't need that much. Remember, it's just going around the rim and on top. Put that to the side. I'm gonna dump out, see how some of them came out. Try not to get the big pieces, just uh, the crumble ones. Yeah, this is way more than enough. Okay. Smash that one in there like that. So as you can see, we got this. This is way more enough. Um, I'm actually gonna crunch this up more. All right. And then all you gotta do again is, uh, Get the bag or whatever you're using, and just go over it. Whoa, that one went flying. <laughs> there you go. So you don't want to crunch it too hard, so it will go flying, because this time it's you know more exposed, not just in that bag. And yes, this takes a little bit more time than just popping one open and drinking it, but I'm telling you y'all, this tastes so much better. So much better. And of course you can use whatever chips you like. But, you know, we're going on that frat boy meal prep. So we got uh, White Claws and Doritos. And there you go. Bam. That looks good. That looks really good right here. One big piece out the way. But, bam. Check it out. That's a perfect amount. I'm going to still have leftovers, too, on this. You know, maybe, uh, not, not enough for two, but maybe one and a half. So then what you're going to do next is you're going to get your sauce. If you have the, if you don't have, like, a sauce, um, I'm not, in one of my videos over there, you're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make this version of it, but I mean, you can use chamoy and just put chamoy around it and just sprinkle some tahini with it and then just dip it on, but it's better when you have this paste. Right. 
So you're just gonna get the can, boom, just put it down just like that. Do a little twirl and, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that dripping right there. Can y'all see it on that camera right there? Just kind of wrap it around so it gets on and boom. All right, so this is perfect right here. You can add more if you want. I know I'm gonna need this, so let's get the napkin to the side. All right, so then what you're gonna do, put that to the side and just sprinkle it on. I mean, you do it like that, it's just gonna make a mess and it's not gonna be all that much even on. But if you do it this way, see what I mean? And this is gonna drip on you. I had it in the refrigerator, but then um, I let it sit out for a while so it's not too, too solid. Bam. That's why it's a little runny, as you can tell. Usually it doesn't drip that much on me. It usually gets right there and it stops, but this is good right there. I'm actually gonna... Nah, you know what? We'll, we'll leave that. That actually looks kind of cool. Sprinkle more, more right around the rim. Oh yeah, look at that, y'all. This is how I actually make my uh, Hot Cheetos Michelada, just like this. We'll accept that with the white claw, but you know, I have the beer, dip it, and then put it around and just like that. So then, of course, get this out the way. Well, some of those little Dorito pieces out. Right, just in case you know some of these uh, <laughs> these crushed up Doritos is gonna go flying. Bam! And you try not to touch everything, and boom, there you go. That played out the way. Let down my fingers, and bam, there you have it. White claw and Doritos, y'all. <laughs> Alright y'all, so here it is. This is the uh, the frat boy meal prep, the White Claw and Doritos. Um, as you can see, you got the crushed up Doritos right here on that chamoy paste that I made. And uh, check out the other video, I'm going to show you how to make my paste. I mean, there's a million different ways to do it. You can just do chamoy and, and uh, just put it on there if you want. You don't even need the tahini, just the Doritos and the chamoy just makes it pop. But you know, this is the drink right here, you know? Like I said, you know, Kid Showtime never been to college, but I partied enough to be an ordinary frat member, <laughs> you know? I've been to a lot of frat houses, so. I've just been, I've been in more frat houses than I did take college classes, so. I know what's up, so here it is, the White Claw and Doritos. Let's try it out. What you wanna do is, of course, you know, hit that uh, chamoy, uh, chamoy paste with the Doritos first. Mm. Oh yeah, I use mango, but you could use any flavor you want. I mean, man, this tastes really good. Oh yeah. And then you get that crunch of that Doritos with that sweetness of the uh, chamoy paste that I made. Man, this is good. And then, you know, if you want, you know, probably next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it with the hot Cheetos. I think that's gonna taste a lot better, especially with the chamoy on it. <clears throat> Oh yeah, you can't go wrong. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next time. The next one's gonna have the hot Cheetos with the chamoy paste, just to get that extra flavor, you know? I probably should have, I mean, I, you know, you, I think even the uh, the Cool Ranch ones would probably taste really good this way. I just think the plain, uh, che the plain Doritos, I mean, it's kinda with that sweetness of that chamoy. Still good, but. I think the hot ways, uh, the, the more flavored ones is the way to go. Oh yeah. And if you want, you can spice it up any way you like, but this is perfect as is. Oh yeah. You know, it takes a little bit of time to make, but it, I mean, it's worth the time. Definitely worth the time. Oh yeah, all done. <laughs> all right, y'all. To the next episode, check it out. You know, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'm gonna do more white claw creations. Of course, next is gonna be this uh, is the hot Cheetos one. So check that out. All right, y'all. Take care.